Hide it in your bed and your whole year will be showered with money. Buddhism Wisdom Have you ever thought that a small hidden gesture could transform your financial destiny for an entire year? Today, on the journey of wisdom, we're delving into an ancient Buddhist practice that can do just that. We'll uncover what you should hide beneath your bed this month to unlock a flow of wealth and success that will follow you through all seasons. This video will take you through each step of this sacred practice, showing you exactly what needs to be placed under your bed to open the gates of abundance in your life. Unlike many superficial rituals, this method is grounded in the profound wisdom of Buddhist teachings, where every action is infused with intention, harmonizing the material and spiritual realms to manifest true prosperity. Before we dive deeper, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and comment below with, I welcome prosperity into my life. By doing this, you're not just participating in a ritual, but actively inviting the universe to shower you with abundance, guiding you towards a year filled with wealth and joy. Number 1. Purpose of the Ritual The concept behind this ritual stems from the ancient Buddhist belief that our minds and the universe are interconnected, constantly communicating in subtle and profound ways. By placing an object of value under your bed, you're not merely hiding something physical, but actively setting an intention for the universe to recognize and respond to. This is more than just symbolism. It's an intentional act that aligns your personal energy with the natural ebb and flow of universal forces, particularly during specific periods of the year that are believed to be more potent for manifesting abundance. As the Buddha once said, what you think, you become. What you feel, you attract. What you imagine, you create. This ritual is a tangible expression of that principle, serving as a bridge between your inner desires and the outer world, helping you focus on what you truly wish to attract into your life. In Buddhism, the concept of karma teaches us that every thought, word and action creates ripples in the universe, influencing not only our own lives, but also the world around us. By deliberately engaging in this practice, you are sending a clear message to the universe about your readiness to receive prosperity. The object you choose to hide under your bed should represent wealth and abundance to you, whether it's a small gold coin, a symbolic piece of jewelry, or even a written affirmation of financial goals. What's crucial is the intention behind it. The energy you pour into this act creates a fertile ground for prosperity to take root and grow. This is akin to planting a seed. With proper care and the right mindset, it can blossom into a life of financial well-being. This ritual is deeply rooted in the Buddhist philosophy of mindfulness and intentional living. It's a practice that helps you cultivate a mindset of abundance by making you consciously aware of your relationship with wealth and prosperity. When you hide this object under your bed, you are essentially burying a wish or intention in a sacred space where it can develop and eventually surface in your life as tangible results. This act of hiding also reflects the Buddhist idea of letting go by placing your intention in a hidden place, you're symbolically releasing it to the universe, trusting that it will come to fruition at the right time. As the famous Zen master Thich Nhat Hanh said, letting go gives us freedom, and freedom is the only condition for happiness. For many of us, financial stability is a constant concern, and this ritual provides a way to transform that anxiety into positive action. It's not about the object itself, but about the energy and focus you direct towards it. Modern life is filled with distractions that can pull us away from our goals. But by engaging in this mindful practice, you are carving out a moment to center yourself and your intentions. 
This ritual serves as a reminder that prosperity is not just about external circumstances, but also about your internal state of being. In essence, this practice is a form of mental conditioning that aligns your thoughts, emotions and actions with your financial aspirations. It's a way to break free from negative thought patterns and replace them with a mindset of abundance and possibility. As the saying goes, success is not the result of spontaneous combustion. You must set yourself on fire. By consciously engaging in this ritual, you are lighting that internal fire, creating a powerful synergy between your desires and the universe's capacity to fulfill them. This act of hiding an object of value under your bed is a symbolic gesture that helps you stay focused and intentional, reminding you daily of your commitment to achieving financial abundance. Number 2. Performing the Ritual Step 1. Choosing your Prosperity Symbol the initial step in this powerful ritual involves selecting an item that symbolizes prosperity and wealth to you personally. This could be anything that evokes a sense of abundance, such as a coin, a dollar bill, a valuable piece of jewelry, or any other small object that brings to mind thoughts of financial well-being. Although it might appear like a simple choice, the significance of this item goes far beyond its material value. The object you choose acts as a bridge between your inner desires and the external manifestation of those desires, embodying the wealth and success you wish to attract into your life. This selection is not just about picking any random item, but finding something that truly resonates with your vision of prosperity and aligns with your personal energy. When you choose thoughtfully, you're setting the foundation for the energy that you will cultivate and nurture in the coming weeks. This process requires mindfulness and reflection because the object will be your constant reminder and source of inspiration. In a fast-paced modern world where distractions are plenty and focus can easily waver, having this symbol helps you stay grounded and intentional in your actions. By anchoring your financial goals to this physical representation, you reinforce your commitment to creating abundance in your life. This act of selecting a prosperity symbol is a deliberate step toward aligning your actions with your aspirations, making the path to financial success clearer and more achievable. Step 2. Setting your intention. After selecting your prosperity symbol, the next crucial step is to set a clear intention. This is where the real magic happens, as your thoughts and energy begin to shape your reality. Take a moment to find a quiet place where you can be alone with your thoughts, away from the noise and distractions of daily life. Hold your chosen object gently in your hands, feeling its weight and texture, and take a few deep breaths to center yourself. Now think about what financial abundance means to you personally. Is it freedom from debt, the ability to provide for your family, or perhaps having the means to pursue your passions without worry? Whatever your goals are, visualize them clearly in your mind's eye. Imagine yourself living in that reality, feeling the joy and relief that comes with achieving your financial dreams. This process of visualization is not just wishful thinking, it's a practice deeply rooted in Buddhist teachings, where intention is considered a powerful force that can influence the course of your life. As the Buddha said, all that we are is the result of what we have thought. What does this mean for you? It means that by setting a clear and focused intention, you're planting a seed in the fertile soil of your mind, which, with proper care and nurturing, can grow into the reality you desire. But how can you ensure that your intention is strong and unwavering? Start by asking yourself, what exactly do I want to attract into my life? Be as specific as possible. Instead of vaguely wishing for more money, 
Think about the exact amount you want, the time frame you hope to achieve it in, and the ways in which this wealth will improve your life and the lives of those around you. The clearer your intention, the stronger its pull. This clarity acts like a beacon, guiding your actions and attracting the resources and opportunities you need to turn your vision into reality. It's similar to how a gardener plans what to plant, when to plant it, and how to care for it, ensuring that the garden will flourish in time. Just as a gardener wouldn't scatter seeds carelessly and hope for a good harvest, you must be deliberate and thoughtful in how you set your intentions. Take this moment to infuse your object with your aspirations. As you hold it, speak your intentions aloud or in your mind, framing them positively and in the present tense as if they are already happening. For instance, instead of saying, I want to get out of debt, say, I am financially free and living a life of abundance. This language shift is powerful. It tells your subconscious mind that your goal is already being realized, which in turn changes your behaviors and attitudes towards achieving it. As you set your intention, keep in mind that this ritual is not about magically creating wealth out of thin air. It's about aligning your mind and actions with your goals so that you become more attuned to the opportunities and resources that are already around you. The act of holding the object and focusing your thoughts serves as a daily reminder of your commitment to your financial goals. Each time you touch or see this object, let it remind you of the abundance you are actively creating. This practice is a form of mindfulness, helping you stay connected to your goals and more conscious of the decisions you make each day that move you closer to your desired outcome. Step 3. Placing the Object Once you've clearly set your intention, it's time to place your chosen prosperity symbol under your pillow or in a secure spot in your bed. This action represents the symbolic planting of a seed, one that, nurtured by your ongoing focus and energy, will eventually blossom into tangible prosperity in your life. Find a safe and undisturbed place under your pillow or mattress where the object can remain for the entire month. This ensures that the symbol remains close to you as you sleep, allowing it to continuously align with your thoughts and intentions. It's crucial to keep the object in this sacred space without moving it, as it absorbs and retains the energy of your desires, becoming a powerful focal point for your financial goals. Each night, as you go to bed, take a moment to reconnect with your intention, reminding yourself of the abundance you are inviting into your life. This simple act reinforces your commitment and keeps your mind attuned to the wealth you wish to attract. Remember, this practice is not about the object itself, but about the energy and intention it represents. As the weeks pass, Trust that your efforts are sowing the seeds for a prosperous and fulfilling future. Number 3. Daily Reinforcement The final step in this transformative ritual is daily reinforcement. This practice helps to maintain a consistent focus on your financial goals and ensures that the energy you've set in motion continues to flow toward your desired outcome. Here's how to incorporate daily reinforcement into your routine. 1. Morning Affirmations Start each day with a moment of mindfulness. As soon as you wake up, before getting out of bed, Gently place your hand on your chosen object under the pillow or mattress. Close your eyes, take a few deep breaths and affirm your intentions for the day. You can say something like, I am a magnet for prosperity or wealth flows into my life with ease and grace. These affirmations set a positive tone for your day and serve as a reminder of your commitment to attracting abundance. Morning affirmations are powerful because they align your subconscious mind with your conscious intentions, 
As you repeat these positive statements, you are reprogramming your thoughts and beliefs to support your financial goals. This practice not only boosts your confidence, but also keeps you focused and motivated throughout the day. 2. Mindful Actions Throughout the day, practice mindfulness in your actions related to money and resources. Whether you are making a purchase, paying a bill, or receiving income, do so with awareness and gratitude. Remind yourself of the intention you set during the ritual and act in ways that reflect that intention. For instance, if you've set an intention to increase your savings, make deliberate choices to avoid unnecessary expenses. If your goal is to attract new business opportunities, actively seek out networking events or engage with potential clients. Each mindful action reinforces the energy you've set in motion creating a positive feedback loop that draws prosperity closer. 3. Evening Reflection At the end of each day, take a few moments to reflect on how your day went. This is a time to acknowledge the progress you've made, no matter how small, and to express gratitude for the abundance already present in your life. Before going to sleep, place your hand on the object again and silently repeat your affirmations. Reflect on any positive experiences related to wealth and abundance that occurred during the day. This evening ritual helps you stay connected to your intention and reinforces the energy you are cultivating. It also serves as a reminder that your journey to financial abundance is ongoing and each day brings you closer to your goal. 4. Gratitude Journal Consider keeping a gratitude journal specifically for your financial journey. Each night, write down three things you are grateful for that are related to wealth or abundance. This could be something as simple as finding a coin on the street, receiving a compliment at work, or having a productive day. The act of recording these moments shifts your focus towards positivity and abundance, making you more receptive to the flow of prosperity. Gratitude is a cornerstone of Buddhist practice as it helps us recognize the interconnectedness of all things and cultivates a sense of contentment. By acknowledging the wealth that is already present in your life, you are telling the universe that you are open to receiving more. 5. Trust the process. Finally, remember to trust the process. While this ritual is a powerful tool for attracting abundance, it's important to release any attachment to specific outcomes. As you continue to reinforce your intentions daily, have faith that the universe is working in its own time and way to bring prosperity into your life. Let go of any anxiety or impatience and focus on being present in each moment. This act of trusting and letting go is central to Buddhist teachings, which emphasize the importance of non-attachment. By releasing your grip on the outcome, you allow the natural flow of abundance to enter your life more freely. As you practice this daily reinforcement, you will begin to notice subtle changes in your mindset and circumstances, guiding you steadily towards your financial goals. In conclusion, daily reinforcement is the practice of nurturing the seed of intention you've planted with your ritual. Through morning affirmations, mindful actions, evening reflection and gratitude, you create a fertile environment for prosperity to grow. Trust in this process, stay committed, and watch as the energy of abundance begins to transform your financial reality. Practical Ways to Never Run Out of Money – Teachings of Buddhism Buddhist teachings offer practical and mindful approaches to managing money and living a life of abundance. Here are some principles that can help you avoid running out of money based on Buddhist philosophy. 
1. Mindful Spending Mindful spending is not just about saving money, it's about cultivating a deep awareness of our relationship with material possessions and our desires. In a society where consumerism often equates to happiness, it's crucial to pause and question our spending habits. Before you reach for your wallet, take a moment to reflect on whether what you're about to buy is truly necessary or simply a fleeting desire. The Buddha taught that craving is one of the root causes of suffering, and this applies not only to big ambitions, but also to our everyday purchases. Ask yourself, is this a need or a want? Will this purchase bring me lasting happiness or just temporary satisfaction? This practice of mindful spending allows us to break free from the cycle of impulse buying and helps us make more conscious financial decisions. It's about aligning our actions with our values, ensuring that our resources are used in ways that truly support our well-being and the well-being of others. The Zen master Thich Nhat Hanh beautifully reminds us, the greatest gift we can offer others is our presence. This means being fully present not only with our loved ones, but also with ourselves, our actions and our choices. When we are mindful, we are less likely to be swayed by the endless stream of advertisements and social pressures that push us towards unnecessary expenditures. Instead, we learn to find contentment in what we have and appreciate the simple joys of life. This doesn't mean we should deprive ourselves of all pleasures or luxuries, but rather approach them with intention and moderation. By doing so, we avoid the stress and anxiety that come from financial overextension and debt, which can be detrimental to both our mental and physical health. In modern life, where credit cards and online shopping make it so easy to spend without thinking, adopting a practice of mindful spending is a powerful way to reclaim control over our finances and our lives. By being deliberate about our purchases, we not only protect our financial stability, but also cultivate a sense of gratitude and fulfillment that no material possession can replace. As we navigate our financial choices, let us be guided by the words of the Dalai Lama. When you are discontent, you always want more, more, more. Your desire can never be satisfied, but when you practice contentment, you can say to yourself, oh yes, I already have everything that I really need. This perspective can transform our approach to money from one of scarcity and anxiety to one of abundance and peace. It's not about how much we have, but how we use what we have that determines our true wealth. By integrating mindfulness into our spending habits, we lay a strong foundation for financial security, allowing us to live more freely, more fully, and with greater purpose. 2. Contentment Santuti Contentment, or Santuti, is one of the most powerful tools in maintaining financial stability and never running out of money. By developing a deep sense of contentment with what you already have, you can shield yourself from the constant urge to acquire more, which often leads to financial stress and insecurity. When you truly appreciate your current resources, whether it's your income, savings, or even the non-material aspects of life, you reduce the impulse to spend on things you don't really need. This mindset shifts your focus from what's lacking to what's already abundant in your life. There's a beautiful story from the life of Buddha that illustrates this concept well. Once, a wealthy merchant approached the Buddha and asked him, How can I be happy with all the wealth I have? The Buddha replied, A person who is not content, even if he possesses a hundred thousand pieces of gold, still craves for more. But a contented person, even with just a single morsel of food, lives in peace. This story reminds us that no matter how much we have, without contentment, we will always feel poor and unsatisfied. Imagine the relief and freedom that comes from being content. 
contentment does not mean you lack ambition or the drive to improve your life. It simply means finding joy in the present and being at peace with what is while working toward your goals. Reflect on this. How often do you find yourself wanting something new, something more, thinking it will bring you happiness? And how long does that happiness truly last? By practicing contentment, you can break free from the cycle of wanting and instead find a lasting sense of fulfillment. Contentment also cultivates gratitude. When you are grateful for what you have, you create a positive mindset that attracts more abundance into your life. This doesn't only apply to money. It's about valuing relationships, health, and the little joys that often go unnoticed. When your mind is at peace, you make wiser financial decisions because you're not driven by fear or greed. Think about it. How often have you spent money to fill an emotional void or to keep up with others? Contentment gives you the clarity to see through these impulses and make choices that truly serve your well-being. To integrate contentment into your life, start with small steps. Each day, take a moment to acknowledge and appreciate three things you already have. It could be as simple as a warm meal, a kind word from a friend, or even the quiet moments of peace. Notice how this practice shifts your perspective from scarcity to abundance. Over time, you'll find that your cravings for more will diminish and you'll start living more mindfully and intentionally. In this state, managing your finances becomes easier because your happiness isn't tied to how much you spend or own. In essence, contentment is a mindset that leads to financial stability and emotional freedom. It's a practice of being grateful and satisfied with what you have, which reduces the need for unnecessary spending and helps you live within your means. As Buddha taught, health is the greatest gift, contentment the greatest wealth, faithfulness the best relationship. So, how can you practice contentment in your own life? What are the small things you can start appreciating today? Remember, true wealth is not in accumulating more, but in wanting less. By cultivating contentment, you'll find that you already have everything you need to live a rich and fulfilling life. 3. Generosity, Dana Let's explore an often overlooked yet profoundly transformative teaching of Buddhism, the power of generosity, or Dana. Imagine for a moment a life where the fear of running out of money no longer exists, where financial worries don't cloud your mind. What if the secret to never running out of money is not about earning more or saving more, but about giving more? This might sound counterintuitive, but Buddhist wisdom teaches us that when we give freely, without expecting anything in return, we create a ripple of abundance in our lives and the world around us. When we give, whether it's donating to charity, offering our time to help someone in need, or simply sharing a smile, we shift our focus from scarcity to abundance. As the Buddha said, if you knew what I know about the power of giving, you would not let a single meal pass without sharing it in some way. This isn't just about the physical act of giving. It's about cultivating a mindset of generosity that permeates all aspects of our lives. Think about it. How often do we hold on tightly to what we have, fearing that if we let go, we'll end up with nothing? This mindset of scarcity breeds anxiety, stress, and a constant feeling of never having enough. But what if, instead of clinging to what we have, we embraced the practice of giving? When we give without expecting anything in return, we are not just helping others. We are transforming our own hearts and minds. We start to see the world as a place of abundance rather than lack. This doesn't mean you have to donate large sums of money or give away everything you own. It's about finding small ways to give every day, whether it's through kind words, a helping hand, or simply listening to someone who needs to be heard. 
By doing so, you invite positive energy and goodwill into your life, and this can open up unexpected opportunities and connections that bring prosperity and fulfillment in ways money alone never could. But you might wonder, how does giving more lead to never running out of money? Let's delve deeper. Generosity breaks down the barriers of self-centeredness and opens up channels for wealth to flow in multiple forms, materially, emotionally, and spiritually. When you give, you build relationships and trust, which are the foundation of true wealth. Think of a business person who treats clients, employees, and competitors with kindness and generosity. Such a person often finds that opportunities and partnerships come knocking, sometimes from the most unexpected places. This is not luck. It's the natural law of karma at work. The more you give, the more you create an environment of goodwill around you. People want to support you, work with you, and contribute to your success because they see you as someone who contributes positively to their lives. Now ask yourself, what do you truly value in life? Is it the accumulation of wealth for the sake of wealth, or is it a life filled with meaningful relationships, peace of mind, and a sense of purpose? The Buddha's teachings remind us that true wealth is not found in the accumulation of material possessions, but in the richness of a compassionate and generous heart. Consider this. When we give, we release our grip on material things and in doing so, we free ourselves from their hold on us. This is true freedom, financial and otherwise. It's about shifting our perspective from what can I get to what can I give. This shift not only reduces our fear of loss, but also aligns us with the natural flow of abundance in the universe. So, how will you practice generosity today? Can you find a small way to give without expecting anything in return? Perhaps you can share your knowledge, volunteer your time, or offer a sincere compliment. Remember, generosity is not measured by the size of the gift, but by the size of the heart. As we cultivate this practice, we may find that we are never truly lacking, because in giving, we receive something far greater than money, peace, joy, and a deep connection with others and ourselves. And who knows? Maybe along the way you'll discover that the secret to never running out of money isn't about holding on, but about letting go. 4. Avoid Debt, Samyag Vyaya To maintain a steady flow of financial abundance, it is crucial to live within your means and avoid the pitfalls of unnecessary debt. This is a fundamental principle not only in Buddhist teachings, but also in practical financial wisdom. Debt, when unmanaged, can become a heavy burden that shackles one's peace of mind, much like a dark cloud obscuring the clarity of the sky. The Buddha's teachings encourage us to seek balance and moderation in all aspects of life, including our financial habits. As the Buddha said, peace comes from within, do not seek it without. This quote reminds us that true peace cannot be found through external possessions or wealth, but through inner harmony and a mindful approach to our resources. Modern society often entices us to live beyond our means, offering easy credit and financing options that make it tempting to spend more than we earn. However, indulging in this lifestyle can lead to a cycle of stress and anxiety, Many people believe that acquiring more material possessions will lead to happiness, but this is a fleeting illusion. As the famous saying goes, the borrower is slave to the lender. Debt has a way of creeping into every aspect of our lives, creating worry and unease that can disrupt not only our financial stability, but also our mental well-being. It is therefore wise to cultivate the habit of mindful spending, prioritizing needs over wants and ensuring that every financial decision is made with awareness and purpose. For those who must borrow, it is essential to do so with a clear and structured plan for repayment. Debt, when used wisely, can be a tool for growth, 
such as investing in education or starting a business. However, borrowing without a strategy is like setting sail without a map. You may soon find yourself lost at sea, overwhelmed by the waves of repayments and interest. Always ask yourself, is this expense necessary? Will it bring long-term value? Can I realistically manage the repayment? These questions are not only a guide to financial stability, but also a path to maintaining your inner peace. Remember, a mindful approach to money involves not just earning and saving, but also spending and borrowing with intention. To illustrate, consider a story from the life of a merchant who lived during the Buddha's time. He was known for his wealth, but also for his wisdom in managing it. Unlike others who flaunted their riches, he lived simply and avoided debts, investing his resources in ways that would bring long-term benefits to his family and community. When asked why he refrained from luxurious spending, he replied, Gold chains are still chains, and I would rather walk freely. This story serves as a powerful reminder that financial freedom is not about the amount of wealth one possesses, but about the absence of financial obligations that can constrain our choices and peace of mind. In today's world, the temptation to accumulate debt can be overwhelming, from credit card offers to the pressure of maintaining a certain lifestyle. But just as a Buddhist monk renounces material attachments to find inner peace, we too must be willing to let go of the need for immediate gratification. Embrace a simpler lifestyle, one that aligns with your values and long-term goals rather than societal expectations. By doing so, you free yourself from the burdens of debt and create space for true contentment and happiness. As the Dhammapada teaches, Contentment is the greatest wealth. This means finding joy in what you have, rather than always seeking more. Moreover, cultivating financial discipline is not just about avoiding debt, but also about building a safety net for the future. Save a portion of your earnings, no matter how small, and invest wisely to ensure you have resources during times of need. This is akin to the Buddhist practice of sowing good karma, small, consistent actions that lead to a prosperous future. By managing your finances with mindfulness and foresight, you create a foundation of stability and peace, not just for yourself, but for those who depend on you. In this way, you embody the Buddhist principle of right action, making choices that contribute to the well-being of all. In conclusion, the path to financial freedom and peace of mind begins with avoiding unnecessary debt and living within your means. It is about understanding the true nature of wealth, which lies not in material abundance, but in the absence of financial worry. As you navigate the complexities of modern life, remember the wisdom of the Buddha and the teachings of those who have walked this path before you. With mindfulness, discipline and a clear plan, you can achieve a state of financial security that supports not only your material needs, but also your spiritual growth. 5. Mindful Use of Resources Imagine a life where you never have to worry about running out of money. It might sound like a dream, but with the teachings of Buddhism, it's more achievable than you think. One of the key principles that can guide you on this path is the mindful use of resources. Now, this isn't just about money. It's about how you manage all your resources, including time, energy and skills. Think about it. How often do we spend hours scrolling through social media only to feel drained and unfulfilled afterward? Or how often do we purchase things we don't really need, only to find ourselves stressed when unexpected expenses arise? When we talk about resources, we're referring to everything that you have at your disposal. Being mindful means paying attention to how we use these resources and making conscious choices that align with our values and long-term goals. Buddha once said, The mind is everything. What you think, you become. If we are constantly thinking about scarcity, 
we create a mindset that makes scarcity our reality. But if we can shift our thinking to abundance and mindful living, we begin to see opportunities and solutions where others see obstacles. So, let's apply this wisdom to our daily lives. Begin by taking a look at where your resources go each day. Are you investing your time in activities that bring you joy, fulfillment, or skills that can help you grow? Or is most of it slipping away in habits that don't add any real value to your life? The same goes for money. Are your spending habits in alignment with your true needs and aspirations? Being mindful doesn't mean being stingy. It means being wise and purposeful with what you have. Consider this. Every dollar you spend, every hour you use, is a choice and each choice has the power to shape your future. By becoming more aware of your choices, you create more freedom and abundance in your life. Just like a farmer who sows seeds with care and patience, if you use your resources wisely, they will grow and multiply, providing for you and others in times of need. This doesn't mean you need to deprive yourself of all pleasures or live an austere life. Instead, it's about finding balance and ensuring that you are not overextending yourself in one area at the expense of another. Think of it as planting the right seeds at the right time, nurturing them and reaping the rewards when the time is right. Another aspect of mindful resource use is learning to appreciate and make the most of what you already have. How often do we overlook the talents and skills we possess, yearning instead for what we lack? By shifting focus from what is missing to what is present, we open ourselves up to creativity and gratitude. This mindset of appreciation and mindfulness is what allows you to see the true value of your resources and utilize them in a way that brings harmony and satisfaction. Ask yourself, are there ways I could use my time and energy more effectively? Could I redirect some of my resources to areas that truly matter to me, such as personal growth, family, or contributing to the community? By reflecting on these questions, you not only become more mindful, but also start to align your life with deeper, more meaningful goals. The teachings of Buddhism remind us that everything is interconnected, and how we use our resources impacts not only our own lives, but also those around us. Imagine a society where everyone practices mindful use of their resources. There would be less waste, less stress, and more generosity. It all starts with small intentional changes in our own lives. As Buddha said, the trouble is, you think you have time. Don't wait for the right moment to start living mindfully. Begin now with whatever resources you have at hand. So, what steps can you take today to practice more mindful resource use? Can you set aside time each week to reflect on your spending and activities? Can you create a simple plan to ensure that your resources are being directed towards what truly matters to you? Start small, but be consistent. Remember, mindful living is not a one-time act but a continuous practice. Each day is an opportunity to align your choices with your deeper intentions, creating a life of abundance, peace and fulfillment. This is the true wealth that the teachings of Buddhism offer us, a wealth that doesn't just fill our bank accounts, but nourishes our hearts and souls. What will you choose today? Thank you for joining us on the journey of wisdom. I hope this video has inspired you to explore the profound impact that a simple act can have on your financial well-being throughout the year. Remember, the essence of this ritual is not just about hiding an object, but setting a powerful intention for abundance and success in your life. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up Share it with others who may benefit from this wisdom and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Make sure to hit the notification bell so you never miss out on our upcoming videos filled with more insights and practical guidance from Buddhist teachings. Until next time, 
Stay mindful and may your journey be filled with prosperity and peace. Thank you for watching.